Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Manika and this is my first ever YouTube video so I hope it goes well and it's an introduction about myself. I do a 20 question tag and also a little bit of a chit chat whilst you get ready with me with this look so if either of those interests you just keep watching. Okay so I thought that I'd do a 20 questions tag whilst I'm um, applying makeup and we have a bit of a chit chat, get to know me kind of thing because this is my first kind of um, video on YouTube. I do have another video on this channel which was for a competition and I think it's like beauty hacks? I can't remember what it was. But yeah, it's beauty hacks and I'm pretty sure I use stuff like cornflower as setting powder. I don't know. Go check it out if you'd like. I'll um, link it below in the description box if you want to have a click. Um, but yeah, so let's start. I have really dry skin so the first thing I do is just moisturize and just moisturize like crazy. Even if I don't start with my base, I just need to have moist skin. Moist. Okay, so the first question is things you can't leave the house without. Um, I'd have to say... I cannot leave the house without my phone, my wallet, um, probably my Mikey, which is kind of like the train ticket that we use here in Victoria, which is in Mel like Melbourne, Victoria, Australia kind of thing. Um, and probably the lipstick that I'm wearing on that day. I don't really have like a makeup bag that I carry around just because I can't be bothered touching up during the day. Like if I put makeup in, on in, if I put makeup on in the morning and it lasts the day, then great, it lasts through the day. If it does not, then it just doesn't. Like I really don't care. Um, I know, I know it sounds really bad, but I just can't be bothered. Like you put so much effort in the morning and you just pray that it just stays like that for the rest of the day. Anyway, so um, I'm just gonna prime my lids for some shadow. Um, this is like a new prime, well okay it's not new but it's new to me because I've only just started using it and I missed the lid of the bottle and I've got primer everywhere, perfect. But yeah this is the um, Benefits Stay, yeah Stay Don't Stray Primer um, in medium to deep. It's quite interesting, it's like um... I think it's meant to be kind of like your lid colour or uh, lid brightening, I suppose. You're, al you're also um, meant to use it for your concealer. So like a setting, non-creasy thing for your concealer. Yeah. Let me know if you've tried um, any really good eyeshadow primers. I've recently started wearing more eyeshadow because I have a lot of palettes and I don't use them. I basically just use the orange and brown shades. So I've been trying to use some more colour. So I need some more eyeshadow primers. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just rambling now. I'm not even doing the 20 questions. The second question. Favourite brand of makeup? I don't think I can choose one. Um, I kind of want to say NARS, but I don't actually own that much NARS stuff. I own maybe like a few foundations, um, those pencil, velvet pencil things, um, highlight, but okay. Actually, I do own quite a few NARS products. NARS. I think NARS. I just like everything in Mecca, I suppose. I like Urban Decay as well. I like Urban Decay shadows. They're really nice. Um, Makeup, Geek sh Makeup Geek shadows are really nice. Okay, I just have to choose one brand. NARS. Let's just stick with NARS. Um, probably go through... I want to do like a palette tag and then go through all my palettes and stuff later on. So stay tuned for that. So I'm going to a 21st tonight and I want to go with like a bold red lip and some shiny eyes. So I'm going to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hill palette and I'm just going to use the shade Pink Champagne, which is that one there. And it's quite a popular shade. It's in their self-made palette as well. This is a World Traveler palette. And it's in both of them. I own both of them. But I don't really reach for it because like it's a nice colour. Hang on, let's see if this will... So let's see if my camera will focus. Is it focusing? I doubt it. Anyway, so it's a nice colour, but it looks nice in the pan and it looks nice when you swatch it. But then when you transfer it from, say if you're using like a brush or your finger, when you transfer it from the second thing to your eye, it the colour payoff doesn't pay off as much. Um, it's, kind of, it's, it's kind of like a sheer kind of glittery kind of colour. Sorry, my chair is just... Yeah. Anyway. Um, it's kind of like a sheer glittery colour. Um, 
it's pink champagne, so it has a hint of pink in it as well. It's a really nice colour, and it's just really annoying that it doesn't kind of come out as well um, when you transfer it to your eyes. But that's okay, because um, I usually just use like a spray of Fix Plus and foil it. But I mean, it's an extra step, and I'm lazy. So, <laughs> but first I'm going to do some orange in my crease, because I like to kind of like know where I'm leading up to. I don't know. That sounds weird. Anyway. Um, the third question in the tag is favourite flowers. I don't know. My mum's really into orchids, so we have a lot of orchids at home. Um, but at the same time, I really like tulips. My mum's really into flowers, so we go to a lot of um, flower festivals. Flower festivals? Is that what they're called? Flower shows. Yeah. We go to a lot of flower shows. I mean, I've, we've driven like three hours to get to a tulip festival once. That was um, quite interesting. But yeah, I really like tulips. Tulips are really nice. Um, what else do I like? Roses. Roses are nice, but I prefer the chocolate roses. I prefer food over flowers. Is there a question about food? I don't know. But I do like tulips. Tulips are nice. And orchids. Orchids are nice too. Um, Favourite clothing stores. I haven't been to a clothing store in so long. I buy everything online now. Um, I hate getting changed in change rooms. I hate having to, you know, line up to pay for my... I don't know. Um, <laughs> that just makes me sound horrible. Um, but... I do like the Iconic, which is... Um, it's like an online store, but it's... Like, the brand isn't the Iconic. It has different brands in it. Uh, I quite like them. Um, they have... They stock a lot of brands like Windsor Smith. Like, they have shoes. They have everything. So they have shoes. They have clothes. They have... Um, accessories like sunglasses and bags. They have a lot of handbags from Tony Bianco and stuff. Um, so I shop a lot on the Iconic. They also have free returns. So that's good as well for 100 days. So um, I have a very odd figure. So I can just try stuff on and then send it back and it's free. So yeah, so that's what I usually shop on. Um, for makeup, I usually shop... Oh, this is clothing, isn't it? Um... That's it. I don't think I've bought anything that's not from the Iconic in like a year. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing with my makeup. I feel like I just like orange the hell out of my eyes. That's okay. I'll blend it out with a nice clean fluffy brush later. So the second, no, third, no, fourth, fave clothing, wait, fifth, fave perfume. I love how these, okay, this list literally goes from favorite to favorite to fave. It's like they just got lazy. Anyway, so Fave Perfume. Um, my favourite perfume at the moment would have to be the Ariana Grande one. I think it's here. Yes. Okay, this, it smells nice. It smells really nice. But oh, this chair is just really annoying. Sorry. My favourite part is this pom-pom. Um, I don't know. It's just... It's a pom-pom. Like, who doesn't like pom-poms? It has a nice, like, rose gold kind of packaging. And then I kind of like this as well. And it's, like, pink. And then it's got a pom-pom. And it just looks really nice. It smells nice. Like, tick, tick. I don't have a very big perfume collection. I think I have maybe, like, five. Because I barely wear perfume. I'm more of deodorant. Heavy-duty deodorant. But, yeah. Um, so, what is next? Heels or flats? Flats. But heels for parties. Is that an option? It is now. Um, do you make good grades, lol? Okay, so that's such a funny question. Um, yes, I'm in uni at the moment. I'm in my fourth year of a three-year degree because I um, did an internship and doesn't matter. Anyway, um, yes, I do make good grades. Fave colours. So my favourite colour is actually green, but no one will ever believe me if I say that because they're just like, but you wear so much pink and you own so much pink and pink. I'm like, yeah, but my favourite colour isn't pink. It's a nice colour. A lot of things I do own is a pink. Okay, I have a pink phone and like things in the background may be pink, but the wall that's like behind the camera is like just bright green. I'll maybe like, you'll see it in a video, I'm pretty sure, because I don't like this background that much. When I first started watching Pretty Little Liars, like, I couldn't watch it during the night because I was just absolutely terrified. Yep, 
Yeah, I was absolutely terrified about, um, A. I don't know if, it, does anyone watch Pretty Little Eyes? Because, join the club, I feel like I've wasted my whole life. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like I've wasted my whole life watching that TV show because it's just letting me down right now. But I've already invested so much time in it that I can't stop. Anyway, I... I I used to also watch um, Vampire Diaries, this was in like 2009, um, and I just couldn't continue because it was really scary. So no, I'm not into ghost hunting. Um, it'll be interesting to know if anyone actually is. Um, are you not scared? I don't know. Uh, any phobias? Yes. But nothing extremely serious. I don't like spiders, but if I see one, I'll be like, ah, but then I won't. Like, I'm okay to go and get rid of it. So maybe that's not a phobia. Um, I do have, is it trypto? I don't like circle stuff. I know that's like, I, I always thought that was like something weird that I had, but then I, it was like on Facebook or something recently. Where someone was like, oh yeah. Like, it was like a meme. Like one of those like popular pages things and they were talking about how, um, oh yeah, you know, like this if you don't, if this picture freaks you out. And I was like, hey, that's me. And then 100,000 other people have liked it. And I was like, I'm not alone. But yeah, I hate circular things. I don't like photos of like flies' eyes. Like how they're like, oh, I don't like honeycomb, pictures of honeycomb structures. They just really like, they make me feel really like my skin crawls. I just don't know why. I don't know. I have no idea when that started either. The next question is, do you bite your nails? Um, I used to when I was... 12. Um, I don't anymore, mainly because I appreciate nails and don't like, um, I don't like short nails. Um, yes, I don't bite them anymore, but I used to, and my mum used to give me, like, those, she used to paint my nails with those, you know, those gross tasting things. I missed a step. <laughs> why? This is why I don't talk and do makeup at the same time. This, this YouTube channel is going to be extremely horrible. I apologise in advance, but I still encourage you to subscribe. Um... Usually, usually I set, because I contour with, um, this is like the NARS contour, contour, contour blush duo in Gina, which is like the darker shade, but since it's powder, I usually set my face with powder first, and then, with translucent powder, and then this glides, um, a lot more cleanly on top of that, because it doesn't cling on to any wet patches or whatever, um, but yeah, I forgot, but that's okay, we'll keep working it. The blush I'm using is um, the Real Techniques Contour Brush. What an attractive face. So usually what I do is I go insane with the um, contour because I actually have a very round face. And then I usually go over and pat with any remaining foundation on the sponge. The really annoying thing is that um, I'm using umbrella lights and they kind of soften your face so you won't actually be able to see the contour as strongly as you would if it was a natural light or with a ring light. Um, but that's okay, it's there. I've contoured. Um, I don't like contouring, I don't like contouring my forehead because I actually, my forehead isn't that big. I don't think. It's not that big. Well, as I don't think it is. I do contour the cheeks and then I come up here a bit and also my chin because I have like a double chin situation going on. But before I do that, I will set my face because then it will glide on smoothly. Uh, the next question is, have you ever had a deer? Deer? No. Have you ever, have you ever had a deer? Um, no. Bambi, where you at? Have you ever had a near-death experience? There's been a lot of, I don't know if it's, there have been situations where I would perceive it to be near-death. Like, I'd be like, oh, like... You know, this happened and I was going to die. Oh, I'm just using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, oh, this happened and I thought I was going to die kind of thing, but I don't know if I would have actually died. Like, we were on a plane and um, it felt like it, it didn't 
fall, but like it was very bad turbulence. They were in like an air pocket and um, the plane just started falling and like coming up really quickly and everyone in the plane was very scared. Um, the pilot lost communication with the cabin crew. So like over the, um, the sound system, like all you could hear was him being like, hello, hello. And we were just like, oh my God, we're going to die. And, um, but I'm pretty sure like the pilot had it under control. So I don't think it's really, in, I don't know. I don't know if that would be a near death experience. What else? Um, there's this time that I was crossing the road with someone and she decided to jaywalk and I wasn't, I didn't realize that she was jaywalking. Like I thought she was just crossing the road. Jaywalking is when you cross the road and there are cars coming and the, the traffic light doesn't say to walk like it has the red man yeah so I crossed the road and a car was just like beep and I was like ah and I thought that I was gonna get hit by a car but that's all right I really hope my mum's not watching this I don't know why she would be but I nearly died mum the last question I think is the 20th do you drink coffee yes I do I used to hate coffee I don't really like heavy coffees like unfiltered coffees but I do drink stuff like lattes um, yeah, I kind of, I didn't, I didn't used to like coffee and then I started working full time, um, in an office and the hours were just so, like I started early in the morning and then I finished late at night and I'd go through like a couple of coffees a day and I just kind of drank it out of necessity as opposed to liking it, but now I like it. So that's okay. So I'm just going to contour my double chin. This video is going to be like really, really long. That was the last question of the 20 questions. So maybe I'll just say some random facts about myself. Um, I'm 20... Mm, okay, so at the time of filming this, I'm 21. But my birthday's tomorrow, so that doesn't really say much. So I'll be 22 when this goes up. Um, I... You... I have a beauty blog called By Manica. Um, the same name as this channel. I'll link it below as well. And an Instagram page to go with that. Um, I have a pet chicken. Her name's Omelette. Um, and we've had her since she's a week old. Uh, what else? I am an only child. I... I like watching TV shows. Um, I feel like if I list the um, number of popular shows that I actually don't like, I'll just never get any subscribers. Actually, no, I will tell you because it's me and this is about me. Um, I don't like Game of Thrones. I've only seen a couple of episodes, but it wasn't really my thing. I'm not a fan of Suits. I think it was actually quite boring. <laughs> um, what else? The shows I'm into are like, I like Dexter. Well, it's finished. The first couple of seasons of Dexter were good. Um, I only watched Pretty Little Lies because I started it when I was young and it's been five years and I can't stop because I've invested so much time in it. I'm just waiting for that to finish. Um, I've started watching The Blacklist, which is a show on Netflix. It's not a Netflix show, but I found it on Netflix. And it's, yeah, that's really good. Um, Jane the Virgin, funny. Uh, Quantico, How to Get Away with Murder. How to Get Away with Murder is a bit like boring at the moment though. I feel like they have too many storylines happening, so nothing's being resolved and they just keep adding stuff into it. Um, yeah, I think that's all I watch. Oh, I watch a lot of reruns of Friends. I think Friends is like my family's all-time favourite show, so it's just always on in the house. For Lina, I think I'll go with the... Should I use gel or pen? I think I'll go with pen. And fingers crossed, it turns out even. Because this video is long enough. Okay, so my camera decided to die whilst I did my eyebrows. So we're missing a step there. I don't really do much anyway. I have quite uh, full brows, so I just kind of outline the bottom and then diffuse a product up and then set with gel. So you didn't really miss much anyway. I'm wearing red lips, so I like to highlight before um, I put lipstick on because I highlight, you know, when you highlight the cupid's bow. Um, if I'm doing like a nude, 
lip color then I highlight after so you can actually see the highlight on the lip but when it's red and matte I kind of just want it to like stick out on its own. I think the Anastasia highlight in Riviera and it's kind of like a rose gold purple mauve 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 um, kind of color to it so that's what it looks like inside there's a close-up on my Instagram start up there I'm not much of a blush person which is why I haven't um, put blush on I feel like it just adds like an extra orange to my color to my shade which I don't really need okay I I feel like I just look like a mess of a disco ball right now but with a bold red lip it will even out so let's go for that now I'm going to be using these two this is a NARS velvet lip liner in misdemeanor and this is the velvet matte lip pencil in mysterious red um, I like the combination it's it's very bright and it lasts quite a long time. So with the okay, so I'm not even going to try it talking whilst doing this, but with these lip liners, they're really good to shape out the cupid's bow because um, it's creamy, but it's also quite precise. So just go in with pencil now. This stuff glides on so beautifully. It's so um, soft and I just, oh, it's beautiful. To make sure I don't get any lipstick on my teeth, I just take my finger and like put it into my mouth around my lips, if that makes sense. So this will take off any excess red that would have gone onto my teeth. And now for lashes. These Huda Beauty um, lashes in Samantha. I am really bad with lashes. I don't put them back into their cases. I just stick them to something and then come back to it later. So I think these are Samantha. I'm pretty sure they are. And I think it's number seven. I think I need to get another pair of these because like all the lashes are just sticking together. I've gotten a, quite a good use out of this. I've used it quite a few times. Maybe like 10 times? No. Yeah, 10 times? A bit more. But anyway, that's it, I think. Um, thanks for getting ready with me. Mm -hmm.